Hey guys, welcome to a Skyblock video. I haven't uploaded for a while and I apologize for that. I've been quite busy with many things, but I am back now and I'm making a Skyblock video showcasing all of the orbs in the game. I recently obtained all of them, including the Overflux. I ended up spending 93 million coins on the capacitor and a few million more gathering all the items to craft it. So I'm going to be showcasing all of these today. I have them all sitting on these armor stands with every tuxedo in the game. To begin with, I'm just going to show the perks of each one. The Radiant, everyone knows this, everyone should have this. If you don't have this, you should definitely craft it because it's very easy to craft. 1% um, of max HP per second. Mana Flux, 2% of max HP per second and extra uh, mana regen and strength. And finally the Overflux, which is 2.5% of max HP per second, 25 strength and 100 base mana regen. Also, all heals are increased by 5%, which to be honest, isn't really that great in comparison to the Mana Flux, considering that this is 30 times more valuable in many cases, it's really not that worth it, and I feel that anyone that buys the Overflux is more just buying it for the Flex than to actually use it. I'm going to be talking about in this video why I think the Overflux should be buffed a bit more, since considering how valuable it is, it's not as great as you might expect. Let's go do a... Uh, healing showcase so I'm just gonna go to the end and grappling hook myself into the bottom and that was a decent amount of damage the radiant orb it's about half a heart one heart one heart one heart per second so it's pretty okay regen I feel everyone should have this by now so it's kind of known now I'm gonna showcase the mana flux so let's uh, just grappling hook ourselves down here and yeah, so Mana Flux, some players will have this, but most players probably won't. It's about one heart, one and a half hearts, one heart, one and a half, yeah. So it's much better than the Radiant, double is twice as good, obviously, because of the regen. I died. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea how I died there. You only take like half your health when dropping down here. Anyway, Overflux. Two hearts, two hearts, two hearts, two hearts. Yes, yeah, so it's about two hearts per second, which is really good. And one thing I haven't pointed out yet is that the overflux goes for an entire minute, which is actually one of the most noticeable things while using the overflux, is that you can go off and do stuff and you'll come back and it's still there. And I've noticed how actually really helpful that is to have, especially if you're doing a dragon, it'll be there most of the fight, if not all of it, depending on how quick you do dragons. So yeah. So now I'm going to do a damage comparison. So for the Radiant, it doesn't actually give you any strength. So it'll be the same as just not having anything. 46k damage, 47.5. So I think 47.5 is the, what you get with first strike. So yeah, there we go. And bear in mind, I have no pots on right now. And I have no talisman in my inventory. So it's pretty low considering I'm using a Midas. Um, so now I'm going to showcase the Mana Flux. Nope, didn't get a crit. That wasn't first strike. 48,000, so it's about a thousand more damage. 48,000, yeah. Okay, so now for the Overflux, which is an extra 15 strength on the Mana Flux. 50,000, 50,000, so yeah, it's about 3,000 more than usual and 2,000 more than the Mana Flux, which is actually really good. Um, especially if you're doing a Dragon, that extra damage will help a lot. But in Slayer, I don't see it being that helpful since it's pretty much still going to be the same amount of hits to kill your boss, especially if it's Revenants or something. But it's a really nice effect to have, and I feel it might be very helpful for dungeons, especially if you're like in a group together, uh, working towards fighting a boss in a dungeon, for example. And the fact that it works up to 18 blocks away might fill up the entire dungeon, and I think that's actually gonna be pretty cool like the effect still works up to here okay it's run out here so this is about the range we've got and i think that's pretty cool anyways guys thanks for watching my video on skyblock uh i was mainly talking about and you complaining about how bad the overflux was but thank you for watching i'll see you another time i will be uploading more videos on end game items in this game mode so i hope you enjoy goodbye